What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is Need the Podcast, episode 115. Sorry, episode 114 was cut off of YouTube, taken down some type of music, some type of blockage, some type of hateration in the world. A lot of subs already in the chat. This is a big time podcast because we got some action. We got some. I, I mean, it's been a slow, 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 slow year in the MCS. So I would say this was probably our best type of games or the best games we've watched all all year. I mean, I don't know if you guys would agree or disagree, but let's get into it. This is the podcast. We got some things to talk about as always, as always. Boys, here we are. Episode 115. Super excited. Super hyped to actually talk about some Madden. I feel like this show started off as... Madden, Madden discussions, breakdowns, philosophies, um, Monday morning quarterbacks, so to speak. But you know, it's kind of transformed into let's just make fun of people, which is okay. We're honestly better at that than we are better at Madden. You know what I'm saying? Fresh baldy. You know what I'm saying? I got the fresh yoffy right here for the evening. I'm good to go. All right? I'm good to go, boys. All right? So, that's how I'm feeling. It was a big week. The first few podcasts, we broke down game film. We did. We broke down some game film. Uh, And now, we make fun of people. I'll be honest, because we can't sit around and wait for the MCS. You know, if you make your content off other people, then you're only going to be as good as they put out content. So, we had to make our own content, which included comparing people's bedrooms little wild, but you know, it was good content. See what's on their walls. Someone once said, somebody has a plain ass room. That was once a joke told in a podcast, plain ass room. That's how low we stooped. Sometimes the chat stoops that low that you can't have a plain ass room. Nothing wrong with a plain ass room. Maybe they just moved there, you know? Yeah, like, you know, it's it's about growth. You got to see where the show goes. You have to see what the people want to watch, you know, and, and you got to learn those things. Now, Madden is always the cornerstone of the show. So today we get some great action, action. And this was probably the best group of games we've seen all year. I'll be honest, the games, because there's so little games, we get so excited for them. Most of them have been, uh, have been disappointing this year. Uh, you guys can tell me what was a great game this year. I don't know, you know, I, because I think the lead up to them and just and the anticipation other than this week, I think this week had some good ones. This week had some good ones for sure. It is Earl week. This is the official Earl week. I mean, Earl versus Salty was top five game of the year. We'll be honest. Well, Earl penetrate the cack. Good question. We will get to that. Let's talk about CP2's mail because I went to the mailbox today. Got some more things from the people. Now, you guys are going to have to start tagging me if you're going to send stuff. You got to start tagging me. Now, I got one of these onesies. Bro. I got the Eagle onesie. Boom. From the boys. Now, I forget which one of you guys sent this to me because y'all didn't put no, it was no tag on it, no nothing. Which one of you guys sent me the Eagles onesie? You know, and I swear I talked to this person. I talked to this person fairly often, too. But I just don't have the DM anymore. So I definitely got the Eagles onesie sent in the mail. There it is for the CP3. Now, this says six months. But honestly, this is like a little bit small. You know what I'm saying? This was you, Shrek? I think you're capping. The Eagles onesie. Now, I did get my my boy does have the Flyers gear. He's got the Phillies gear. And you know he has the Sixers gear. So he's all four for four. Uh... Right. So, there it is. Boom. Got the Eagles onesie. JJ, I'll oh, say no more. My man JJ, thank you. There it is. I see that's what I mean, man. Y'all don't y'all don't be putting enough notes. Like when you send stuff, there's not always notes from Amazon or from wherever, but he got a nice Eagle onesie. Like I said, this looked like 6 months, but he might have to wear this this week, you know what I'm saying? Now, my man, the GOAT, Scomo himself, also came through. Now, last week, we started CP2 Mail's uh, portion of the podcast talking about um, Scomo and how he sent us a lot of champagne for the baby and for me and Sarah. 
But he also sent me mad cards, dude. I reached out to Scomo um, uh, probably a month ago. Like, I want to get my son some cards. Because I see all these guys putting these cards out here. And I don't really know shit about them, right? These game, these gaming cards. And I'm like, you know, I want to buy my son maybe a card just, to, just for his year of birth. Maybe a Mahomes. I really don't know what the cards are. Then they told me only rookie cards are really worth anything. So I said, let me maybe get my man a Herbert. Something like that. Because you know, Herbert's my guy. But uh, Scomo sent me all these cards for little CP2. Jalen Hurts rookies, all the e all the Eagles he got. We got Jalen Hurts, uh, Wentz, more Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, all these uh, Panini rookie cards, Jalen Hurts. Um, we got Lane Johnson, all the Eagles, Jalen Rager rookie cards. Uh, with Miles Sanders, was this uh, Zach Ertz, more Wentz, Quez Watkins, Deshaun Jacksons, all over. But all these different cards, different colors. I really don't know too much about them. But uh, he definitely sent me all these to give to CP2, all these red cards, blue cards, green cards. So uh, he definitely sent the champagne, sent all these cards. So we're hooked up uh, with the um, with the uh, the Carson Wentz's and the um, J and the Jalen Hurts's. So who knows? Maybe I'll show him these one day and say, um, you know, this was the year you were born. Uncle Scomo got you this. Now I did see Scomo did. Uh, what you call it? Scomo did um, announce that he's having a baby, so we're gonna have to make sure we get him something tough when it's time for that. So, like I said, my man hung like Shrek JJ with the Eagles onesie, fresh bust out right there. Boom, put it on my boy. You know he's got to be an Eagles fan. This is good. I, I I only think I have about ten Eagles onesies. This all black. This is my style right here for sure. So he's gonna rock this definitely. And uh, Scomo with the cards, so I could add, start a collection. I already bought, can't lie, I've been buying Eagles cards, just Eagles players. Uh, so I'll be able to show them that too. So that's pretty dope. So like I said, if you type exclamation point P.O. Box, you can get the P.O. Box. Send whatever you like. Every week we'll do one of these, uh, barring something in the, in the mailbox right there. That's the P.O. Box right there. You can send whatever you want. We'll send Scomo something for sure, you know. But that is the P.O. Box sending something for CP2. He's asleep right now. be honest, I was going to wake him up, but my mother-in-law is here. She's staying with us for the week to help take care of the baby. Uh, and she was like, no. He, and she's like, you know, I told you she's African African. She was like, no, he can't. He can't. He can't wake up. He's asleep. I was like, oh. all right. So that's why CP2 is asleep. Maybe he'll wake up by the end of the podcast. Come and thank you guys. My man Shrek, JJ the legend, and my man, um, and my man Scomo, of course. Uh, where we at? Where we at? All right, but that was CP2's mail. Let's talk about joke. Um, now let's take a look at the brackets. Let's take a look at your. I don't know where your brackets are. I'll be honest. I mean, this is pretty much what else is there to really talk about? You know, Wesley kind of cheated Spoto. I see the Spoto man in the chat. Wesley, kind, I mean, kind of cheated him. But, you know, I mean, I'm not crying, Rivers. I'm not crying, Rivers. But let's take a look at... Oh, son of a bitch. Let's take a look at the, at the brackets. Let's take a look at what the brackets look like. I don't know if you... Does anybody have a clean bracket yet, man? Does anybody have a clean bracket? Now, listen. You listen, you can't be mad at a person getting lucky. Now, I heard some rumors and before we start all this. I heard some rumors about Wesley being the luckiest player ever. Does is anybody on that train? Is any a matter, as a matter of fact, let's save the Wesley luckiest cuz that's part of that's part of my that's you see you see that's part of my topics. That's part of my tap. That's part of the topics. It's part of the topics. Now it's part of the topics, so we will get to that, okay? Listen. We will get to that. So let's not start Let's not start killing the. I took first of all. I'm, I'll preface everything I'm talking about. I told you about the West Curry stock. I just told you guys. All right. So let's look at the how the bracket, how the bracket displayed itself. What is this? What is going on right now? We are in shambles. Uh, this is how the bracket turned out yesterday. This is what we watched. We watched all these games. Prodigy versus Ice. Um, Ice wins that game. Noah beat that boy. Um, 
I'll be real. I, I'm 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 high on the Noah stock. I think I told you guys I was high on the Noah stock going into it, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, Tony and Jeff. Tony obliterated Jeff. Jeff looked like he, bro. That Jeff looked like he he didn't play Madden for three weeks, bro, or three months. Jeff Jeff that was the worst Jeff looked in in any tournament really expected we really thought jeff and tony was going to be a good fight jeff got pummeled pavin versus madden elite i felt like this was a kind of a good one um pavin once again moves on and then he beats tony he moves on to the final eight with noah uh this is pretty much chalk how i don't know how you guys had your bracket but that's how i had it noah versus pavin um i think i was right on every other game i did have prodigy being nice so i was one i was i got only got one game wrong in the top there it is, CC in the building. CC, the actual CC, white badge, 39 months. All right, so then we go ahead to the bottom. John Beast versus K Mac. A lot of you guys had K Mac. A lot of y'all were high on the K Mac stock. I could pull up next week's video. I know what I have. I remember my picks because I do this professionally. I do not lie about my picks or anything like that. I had, I did have K-Mac winning this game, but John Beast, everybody was loving K-Mac. Everybody was in love with, now, I, I, listen, man, I don't know. We watch K-Mac play, right? K-Mac is a spread demon. You know, when he went in, he went in there playing trips tight end didn't look like k-mac on offense i'll be honest that's not the k-mac we know and love it didn't look like him right he was not sharp you know so but and john beast and i told you john beast is um, he's one of those players he's one of those players that's been grinding the game a lot the last couple years and he's definitely popping up i agree i felt like k-mac was not sharp he was not the k-mac we know and love Spread isn't comp. Why Why not? Because you say it's not? I don't know. Sometimes you got to, you know, you got to dance with who brought you, man. You know, I don't know. I also feel like this, right? K-Mac, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I watch K-Mac, but I don't like tune in every day. But for me, one of the things about streaming was I didn't want to like, have a stream scheme that I did on stream. Like I want to sit here and play a million games and spread and then play like a tournament scheme off stream. I wanted all my reps to be the same. You know, I didn't want to fuck around and mix up reps with different stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Well, what, well, I'll tell you what, whatever the hell he liked or didn't like, it was better than what the fuck I saw. All right. That's how I feel. All right, but for me, like I said, I never liked mixing up my schemes for real, for real. <clears throat> but like I said K Mac did not look too sharp. Um, he got popped. John B's move on. Joke survived. JS the best. I know we were all rooting for JS the best, but Joke survived. Kratobin's ring put hands on Kratobin. Wesley put hands on Spoto. You know, moved on. Uh, but I mean, you know, we can talk about that. But let's talk about joke. That's why we're here. Let, we're, let's talk about joke because this is why we're here. This is why we want to. Well, this is why we want to watch, right? There's no other reason. Love when joke loses. I mean, now the guts of the game. This is what we like, boys. The guts of the game, right? Some people shine in the guts of the game. Some people become shit in the guts of the game. It depends on what you want. It depends on who you are. This is the guts. This is the guts. This is Nickelodeon guts right now, is it not? Is This is the guts of the game right here. We got a money drive situation now. And I've been talking to Drenny the last couple of days uh, about Wesley game and everything. And I will tell you guts, right? If you ask joke, First, any player in the world, joke, I'll give you a seven-point lead, two-minute warning, you're on defense. He has to drive the field to score on you. Joke would say, sure, no way. I would take that 10 out of 10 times, right? 
Honestly, I think most every player would take that scenario now, right? Even if you're not even the best defensive player. Because it is hard to drive down the field with the clock run, run downs and everything like that and needing a touchdown. It's tough. Yeah, Four is great, just like Drenny was up. If they need a touchdown, but again, I would tell you, obviously being up seven is better because worst case scenario, we're going to overtime, right? Or maybe you might even get the ball back to get a field goal, right? Line up seven. Zero pressure on joke. Zero. 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 Now, John, joke makes adjustments to win. Now, dual sports, we will talk about some adjustments. Now, here we move on. Uh, now, I will tell you, John Beast was scrapping. I'll be honest, everybody was scrapping in this tournament. I don't know if anybody looked good on offense. Everybody was scrapping. I don't think any. I don't think anybody was really clean, really fluid. Pause on offense. Is there a bigger upset? Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's a huge upset. You know, you have, you know, a top five player in the MCS error against a guy in his first camera scene. So yeah, it's obviously a huge upset. You know, I, that's how I feel. But so we have joke. Now, I, listen, I ain't got time for all this. I just want to get to the guts of the game. Little dot underneath. Somehow, Sam Mills is in the game. As I hear Nick, as I hear Nick talking, I just want to preface all this by saying, great job by the EA staff. Everybody. They do a great portion of the tournament so far. We're still getting underway. But Nick is awesome. Uh, which my man T. Davis is awesome. User, of course, is, is the best ever. Um, right? And our girl Katie. We got to get some big dubs for the production of the EA tournament. Uh, not very many problems. Few technical difficulties. And like I said, we never give them credit for shit. And I will tell you, as a human, it's a lot easier to kill somebody when you also are on record of giving them credit for something. You can't just be the guy that gives people shit all the time. Sometimes you have to give them roses. That's all I'm saying. If you give them roses and shit, then your shit is more powerful. Wise lesson. There you go. Write it down. You know, shit and roses is a better combo than just shit. Now you're John Beast here. Let's mix in a little run, get the clock going. Now this is where champions are made. This is where, this is where, I mean, bro, what do you even call? He's been bagging you the whole day. You're going to try to hit Randy Moss back at the end zone here. You're going to go max protect. He only rushes four. I, I mean, not a bad, not a bad toss. I liked what I saw. I might have do that too. If you're a joke, you're okay with that too. What are you getting mad at? John Beast is saying, what do I cook up? I got a third and 13. This is damn near third and impossible. Third and impossible. What do you go to? Looks like a lot of corner routes. A lot of action. He's got playmaker. He's looking for Gonzalez or Kamara. He's got one-on-one. -on -one. Throw it now. He, he high-key got cheated right there. Now, this play, this play, Joke didn't like that. But Joke didn't like that, right? That play struck fear into his heart. That play struck fear into his heart. He said, oh, shit. Because one, Moss almost got him in the play before, right? Then Gonzalez almost got him. And he knows, bro, I kind of got lucky right there. I kind of got lucky. Now, this is what, for me, so what does Joke say? Now, this is something I might say. Yeah, this is how he's like, oh, shit, I got lucky. And John Beast is the same way. Damn, now I have a fourth and 13. Now, check. Give me the probability of a fourth and 13 from the 20 yard line. What's our probability? I'm thinking about 10%, maybe less. 10, J Dubs is right with me. 10%. Wesley says 175. It's low. Yes, it is low. 
But the face cams set you up for what goes into the play call. Because this is probably the worst play call in Joke's career. I would probably tell you this is probably his worst play call. And for somebody that's the self-proclaimed best defensive player ever, you don't make this play call. You know? the no Listen. I don't want to say... I don't want to say that the best thing you can do for if offensively, like what if you're on offense, you're on the 20-yard line and you need to score a touchdown. What's the easiest defense to score on? You know? I feel like if they blitz, they kind of give me a shot. Right? Does anybody else feel that way? They kind of give me a shot if they blitz everybody. Right? Does anybody feel that way? They kind of give me a shot. Make a read. Uh, somebody's going to be open at least, so to speak. Somebody's going to be open. Now, here we go. But this is this is when I didn't like the call. Right? When he goes, when he goes, not because, listen, you can blitz. Oh, damn. This is how we were. And listen, this is how we all were when we realized Joke was going to win. This was really, we were all like this. Everybody in the chat, everybody at home in the stands, this was our feeling. We were bad. It was rough for us. Okay, so he says y'all lost. Like, I'll be honest, we don't all been in Madden games. I've been in Madden games. I said y'all lost. Dreamy I mean, uh, uh, we, can, we can sit here, we can sit here and shoot the shit and say, we will think about the next play, keep your head focused, keep your eyes on the prize, stay confident. No, when that happens, I lost. I'm not going to get a chance like that again. I'm not. But, uh, well, see, that's the face like, fuck it, right? That's the fuck it face, right? Okay, let's go. Now let's get to some shit. All right, I, I ain't got nothing to lose now, right? Now, this is where I feel like Joke fucked up because you can blitz everybody, right? But you got to surprise them a little bit, right? You got to surprise them just a tad as John Beach uses a timeout. Uh, you got to give them a little, you got to shock them a little bit. Now, once he uses that timeout, this is the whole game right here. So you got to give them a little bit of surprise. Now, when I get to the line and I see this, you haven't ran this all day, right? You haven't run this all day. So to me, there's one, bro, he's blitzing everybody. He's not bluffing me. Why would he come out in this if he's bluffing me? There's zero bluff to this, right? I don't give, listen, obviously the one for, oh, that shit, that doesn't, that shit doesn't matter, bro. This is my point. There is no bluff at all. There's no bluff in this. I'm coming to get the quarterback. And John B says, okay, let me do this. Let me go over here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to block every fucking person on the field. You know? Boom. And we block every person. And we give up a touchdown. There it is. Is that a quarter zone? I guess it is. God, why is shitty zone? That's a quarter. I'd be pissed. Are y'all sure? That's a quarter? This is a quarter? Yo. <laughs> I feel like it's a per I feel like it's a cloud or something. I don't know, boy. Y'all tell me. Y'all, y'all, y'all the experts when it comes to that's this zone. Skimbo knows, bro. Skimbo. Oh, well, he's on his left foot, slanted to the right, so that's definitely a cloud. Kevin King. <laughs> it's Kevin King. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's a cloud? So, I... <sighs> fourth and 13. <sighs> now, I think quarters suck. But I think if I, w if I was blitzing everybody, I think I'd go quarter there. I don't know. You guys, like, naturally, that's what I would do. If I was blitzing everybody, I think I would go quarter. Right? Just, just like, not that it's not a, not that it's the right thing to do, but I feel like, uh, I feel like it's, it, that's what I would do naturally. 
But this is my, let's go back to the whole point. Bro, you made it obvious as fuck that we're blitzing everybody, right? A bluff blitz. Bro, and then John Beast blocks everybody. Because he has playmaker, he can actually do that. Because this guy is actually three routes. He's three routes, not one. I mean, he made the right he made the right guess. He made it pretty obvious he was blitzing. Look at John Beast go crazy. <laughs> oh, why can't I get one of those screenshots? <laughs> oh, he's going crazy. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. John Beast was going nutty. Oh, what the? Why the fuck did that? <laughs> hey, he went crazy, bro. He went crazy. And I, honestly, that that was probably one of the worst defensive plays of all time. Especially for a man that has six points. But it gets better. It gets... Listen. Just when they thought we were done. Just when we thought we were done. It gets better. Now. Let me tell you something. As a Madden player. Right? After you give this up. Right? You have this like natural human, a human mental thing that, you know what? Let me make up for this. Oh, he was going naive shit. There you go. Okay. That's the new profile pick. Now you have a mental thing in your mind. I don't know if you guys do, but I, I like, like try to speed up a little bit. Like, fuck man, bro. I got to make up for that. I just did some bullshit, right? I just did some bullshit. So you try to speed up. So, you know, if I get a field goal and win the game, I don't got to worry about that bullshit I just did. So your your frustration and, like, anger and, like, I don't know, sorrow, I guess, from, from calling that shitty defensive play translates into your next offensive play or your next couple minutes of the game. Uh, the rage blitz, that same type of vibe. Exactly. Now, Joke does come out here and run stretch. Because, you know, if you pop a good stretch, this is some real NFL stuff. He calls a timeout. We have 18 seconds on the clock. You know, we have the super kickers. You can kick from, what, the 30, 40, something like 38, 40. So you need a, a good dot. Um, and so for me, Joke's not high-powered. He's not a high-powered player. But one dot is capable. I would certainly try for one dot. As we see him with a little motion here, he has Kamara. Uh, he, bro, he went up top that play. Now, truth be told, if you're a joke, sometimes if you see this, you say, you know what? I'm okay with overtime, right? I'm okay with overtime, right? Like, okay. Okay, Madden. Thank you. I appreciate it, bro. Right? Like, I, you showed me. Sometimes... When a woman shows you she's a whore, you just take her word for it, all right? You say, you know what, that's enough. I'm not going to deal with her. If she cheats on you or she's out here with Billy Bob in the other room, then you can't go back to her, right? So Madden just showed joke, listen, I'm a whore. I'm going to I'm gonna fuck you, right? And you know what joke said? <laughs> not me. <laughs> here it goes. Joke said, ha. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that big of a whore. He said, hold my beer, Madden. <laughs> he goes with this. Now, we got 10 seconds. Now, I will preface this play. Now, I will preface, <laughs> I will preface this play, right? The likelihood of Joke throwing an interception all the way down the field and it being returned in field goal range in 10 seconds is kind of slim. Does anybody agree with me on that? Like it's kind of it's kind of slim that he would throw a pick to get picked off, not only a, not a short pass, but a pretty deep pass to get picked off and ran back 
You know what I'm saying? Like, and ran back in the field goal range. Now, I will tell you, the probability of that is probably higher than the probability of him getting points in this situation. Right? There's not that big. There's no, the risk reward here, not that great. No, but here goes joke. Motion this guy, motion that guy. Five-man rush here from John Beast. He doesn't have time. Probably has his clouds on a dirty 30. He's a, probably a dirty 30 type right now, and I'm not mad at it. Yes, and the game never lets you just pick the ball off and stay on your feet. Now, I'm not saying, listen, what else is he going to throw here? He's trying to get points. Like, he stays on his feet, catches the ball at four seconds. Now, in front of him, bro, that, I might get in the field goal range right here. I might, I might get, I might get uh, in the field goal range right here. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say... I might have tried to score there. It might have failed, but you know. <laughs> Yo, was he doing a wiggle? What the fuck? Was it? Oh, watch his chair. Hold on. Nah, bro. What's his chair? Nah, he's doing a wiggle. Bro, you too fat to do a wiggle. You can't do this. No. No. I got to hear the audio, bro. We got to hear the audio. I think he's no. I think he was doing a wiggle, bro. I don't know. I think he was wiggling. Five seconds left. Cannon on third down. Oh, he's gonna lurk him with Taylor. Five seconds left. Can John Beast get in the field goal range? No Can way. He's gonna no no have a kick. It's gonna be an ice kick to win the game for John Beast. John Beast. That defense. Oh my God. Hold on. Hold on. He's gotta make an ice. <laughs> oh, bet a little now. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, bro. Bro, bro, we, bro, 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 bro. You can't expose the little. You can't expose the little bed peg out here like this, bro. Come on, John. Come on, John. You got at least tuck your sheets in under. Come on, bro. This is this is, bro. You, bro. The chair hurting a little bit, John Beast, bro. Yeah, bro. We got little, bro, 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 bro. bro. See, look at the chat. We start talking about bedrooms, and the chat gets riled up, and they wonder why we don't talk about Madden plays anymore. Look at the chat now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here we go. Plain-ass room. <laughs> Nasty-ass pillowcases. What the fuck is this? Venom? <laughs> is this tree branches? Like, what is this shit? <laughs> Who wants to lay their head on mossy oak? <laughs> Who wants to lay their head on those pillowcases? Don't they like Venom when he like transforms and shit? <laughs> oh, man. I swear, we're way better at making fun of people than we are at fucking talking about Madden. That's confirmed, the one million percent. Oh, it's not his room. How the fuck you know it's not his room? Because he told you? You believe that man? Why? Have you been to this room? I don't know. All I know is this the room I saw him in. So therefore, it's his room. Did he go to his cousin's house? Is he at the Turn Motel the 6? There, Anthony right there with the 50 bomb. Mid-podcast. He's back. The yifty yam. See? There, I see. He, that, when we start talking about bedrooms and things of that nature and the shake that John Beast did, things change. My man, Anthony, with the yifty yam. Whoa. Now, anyway, back to this plastic wrapped bed frame. This is a nasty bed. There's a lot of nastiness right now. And I can't lie. This whole setup is just... What's the paneling on the walls? Big Ant is back. Yeah, Ant, you cat bad last night, Ant. Bro. I mean, I, but... but he said he'd be back. He, he was in my DMs. He said, listen, I'm going to regroup. He said, I will, I will regroup. And I said, okay. I'll take a man for his word at least once. Right, boys? It's the guest room. How 
you going to put a guest on this? How is the guest room? The guest is supposed to come over and sleep on this? What the fuck type of guest do you have? You got some nasty guests. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to get some nasty. That's some nasty guests. <laughs> like, yeah, bro, this is where you sleep, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't put no guest in this room. Holmes, if you're John Beast TD, I think they're sweating. You have got to be kidding me. It all comes down to this. What an ending. Oh Yo, remember when uh, kicking field goals was hard? I can't lie though. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, no. You know, hold on, wait, wait. You know what's the funniest part? Is oh, yo. Yeah, when they put Bernie in uh in Joke's chair. No, the funniest part that ass was joke was this with Joseph. <laughs> y'all ain't see it. Y'all ain't see it for real, for real. Yeah, I ain't see it. Yeah, I ain't see it. Watch, 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 watch. watch. The beast, the kick is up. And it is good. And it is good. And it is good. Oh, man. Yo, that shit is too funny. Oh, once again, another screenshot. <laughs> There it is. In one screenshot. There it is. Oh, yo, what he said like this? <laughs> yo, that shit. Oh, man. Shit was epic. That shit was funny. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Yeah, that was funny. So, John Beast. Did anybody have John Beast? Did anybody have him? Beating joke, moving on. My man Wapa in the building with the three months. My man D Miles is in here with with uh five months. SVC. Ooh, security brain, security brains. Drenny blitzed the crib and lost too. Yeah. But we're gonna get to Drenny. We just had to talk about joke. Now, I feel like everybody killed joke after this game, bro. Are the competitive players in, in particular. Now I'll be honest. I, I'm not the biggest. This is how I feel, bro. Like, if I lose, I'm not going to be happy when the next person wins. I don't know. I feel like if I lost, I can root for people, right? But I, I don't like publicly, like, like I don't know, trolling and shit like that after I, if I lost, right? I, that's just how I feel. And I feel like a lot of... And I guess everybody's attitude is, fuck them, to joke. That's pretty much everybody's attitude. They're pretty much on the uh, fuck them train. I don't know. I feel like if I if I couldn't do the job, I could root for somebody. But I, I feel like I can't publicly troll no more, bro. And I, I think problem's different because problem, I mean, has super accolades. And they've obviously gone back and forth. You know what I'm saying? But everybody says, like, fuck them. Why is joke so hated? Uh, chat. That's a good question for the chat. Baiting. Why is joke so hated? Listen. You know why? You know why? I can su This is easy. Nobody likes the guy that sucks his own dick. Period. I say this a million times. That's it. Seriously. That is the end of that is the end of the discussion. And this is what I tell you. There is not another Madden player that sucks his own dick like this. There's not. Like, problem listen. Problem listen. No, see, listen, problem has the most accolades ever, right? But does he ever say that? Does Problem ever get into an argument and say, I won X, Y, and Z? Does Problem ever say that? Skimbo has three belts. 
Does he ever, like, bring that up? Like, seriously bring that up? Drenny. I don't even know what Drenny talks about. Drenny doesn't even talk. You know what I'm saying? If Joke didn't have Twitter, we would like him. I mean, shit. Maybe. But then again, social media is how you portray yourself essentially to your fans or how you portray yourself to the public, right? Who knows? Drenny doesn't have social media. Do we like Drenny now? I mean, he don't. He got social media, but he doesn't really have social media. He did go. Yo, he did go against the den. You don't go against the den. In fact, I've learned in my man career, the more time I've spent in the den, the bet, the more success I've had. I try to spend at least you know. 10 to 15 minutes in the den per Fox stream. Just being honest. Now, I don't really take too much from it. I just like the atmosphere. You know, I like the vibes. I learn a little bit. You know? You, the more you embrace the den, the more success you'll have. You don't cross the They ride. The den rides. Oh, they ride. I mean, I, the den has not grown on me, Throne. I would not go that far. But I appreciate the time I spend in there. See? Then, listen. We talk about Madden all the time. That's enough. Skimbo says, bro. The more you proclaim your accolades, the less bright they get. Or the, 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 the less strength they have. Right? The more you proclaim what you have done, what you have accomplished, the more people naturally want to tell you to shut the fuck up. Seriously. One million percent. And rock. Um... I don't know. <laughs> but uh, definitely, I mean, um, Joke is at that point of his career where it's belt or bust, right? So uh, this would be definitely a disappointing year. And is the year over? To be determined, right, boys? If you were asked right now, do we get another man tournament, would you bet your life on yes or no? If you were asked right now, what would you do? If you bet your life, what would what would you what would you pick? Dreidel, my guy with five months, man. What would you pick? That's what I'm saying. So is the year over? I disagree one million percent with that. This is the worst year to be a pro player via the MCS. But there is a thousand dollar tournament three times a week. Do you, I like, MCS wise, yes. This is the shittiest format to just live off the MCS. Players Lounge throws a thousand dollar tournament every week. Players Lounge does it too. Players Lounge, Mudhead, these Knights tournaments. Bro, there are events every single week. Period. There are. So, from a from an EA standpoint, it is the worst year because of one tournament, one opportunity. Um, but from a overall standpoint, I think um, there are opportunities to win tons of money. Really, yes, yes. MCSY is trash, but all in all, the rest of the world is growing, and I hope we are starting to lean realize, bro. Like. And a lot of the man players out here start to realize, like, bro, like, we can make money off these other events and shit like that. Morning, what's up? I don't know. That's what we were asking. Zeus, is there going to be a MC uh, Draft Champs? I mean, why would they? I, I'll be real. What, I, as we've all been doing our own watch parties and just, what, I felt like the, the EA event, the EA 
viewership on this tournament has been trash. I mean, has anybody else feel that way? I've gotten to the point where I've gotten to the point where if me, Skimbo, and Problem did one big watch party, we could beat them. I feel like we could beat them. I, I feel like we could beat them, bro. Or we'd at least fight. Or we'd at least fight with them. We'd at least fight. Nah, they don't need anybody. They don't need anybody. And the Fox? Bro, if we got the Fox on board, oh, we would flood. We would flood EA. Yeah, so for me, it's like, why would they throw another tournament? You know? Let's ask ourselves that. Why? Why would they throw another tournament? Think about it. All right, that and that, that's what I asked. Why would they? In fact, why would they even have MCS next year? Somehow they are getting tons of sponsorship. I don't know where this money's going, but why get a competitive? That's a good question, Thomas Jeff. Jeff is alive and well. Shout out to Thomas Jeff being alive and well. That's good, buddy. That's good. Hmm. It's easier to run while people are at home. Do you think that? I don't know about that one there, partner. I don't know. I haven't won anything to do one of these at-home live events. I haven't done one of those. Pizza Hut? Yeah, they have a lot of sponsors. And I guess what you're selling the sponsor on is viewership. You have to. Uh, as I've gotten into this world, that's what you sell people on. You know, that's what we get paid for. Okay. Give me your Razer controller. You know, I'm going to show a thousand people this every night. Uh, you know, that's my selling point. So EA selling point is what? I'm going to do a tournament and I'm going to, there's going to be 5,000 people watching it. You know, so they, you know, I don't know how 10 K. I don't have that. That's not what I've seen. That's not what I've seen. I don't know. I don't know what they do, but listen, they're, they're better at their job than I am. I don't know what they do. You know what's crazy? How do they not have the front page of Twitch? What are they doing? Well, the next level tournament had the front page of Twitch. 20K, right? The next level alone had that. How do you not at least have the front? You are EA. How do you at least not have the front page of Twitch? That's crazy to me. I don't know what they're doing. Who knows what they're doing? Who knows what they're doing? Madden ain't that damn small. <laughs> Madden, Madden ain't that damn small. Hmm. Drops hardly work. Drops. <laughs> oh man. No loading screen advertisement. Is that right? No, no more loading, Mike. No more loading screen. I don't know. Damn, there's some anger in here. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on to the, the so deemed luckiest Madden player ever. That's what they've been calling my man West Westbian, the Westbian, West Curry, Wesley Gittens, Tackless Squid, Joe Rice. I told you guys about Joe Rice. Did I not tell you guys a week ago on this show my stock is high on Joe Rice? I told you guys this. I told you guys this. 
Now, do any of you guys feel like he is the, uh, like he is the, whatchamacallit, like he is the luckiest player ever? Does anybody feel that way? Because for me, it's still Bugs 1 million percent. It's still Bugs 1 million percent. But Wesley is passing him up. I don't know. Bugs won a whole club on a blocked field goal to the crib. Like what? Like that's amazing. That's amazing. I told King, I told you I, I was high on the Noah stock. I told you I was high on the Noah stock, Wesley stock, and the Gold stock. Those are my high stocks. Bugs cheated the shit out of me, man, 17. So for or man 16. That was man 16. But I don't want to take Bugs cheating me worse than anybody's ever been cheated in Madden history too far. But like, cause that's a personal thing. When somebody cheats you, you feel a little personal about it. So Bugs, honestly, I could be the most decorated player ever if it wasn't for Bugs cheating me in the first Man 16. Honestly, I was, I was, um, what's gonna call it? What I'm gonna say, I, I, uh, what's gonna call it? I, uh, I was better in Man 16 than I was 17, 18, everything. Now, we also forget. <clears throat> I'll also forget. The way Bugs beat I'm Wild in Madden 17 Madden Bowl with the back-to-back -back onsides? Then he get back-to-back -back onsides or some shit? Come on, bro. Like, y'all, Bugs is not even close. Like, come on, dude. Bugs is not even close. It's not even close. It's not even close. Bugs is so far, he's so far luckier than Wesley is not close, bro, for real. Yeah, Wesley caught a couple passes, maybe, but block kicks to the crib to win a whole club or onside kicks? Bro, you cannot gauge this stuff. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Don't give me a, oh, he mossed somebody. He's lucky. Come on, bro. Your onsides were labbed. All right, so Wesley... Probably had the toughest two games, chat. Spoto, former uh, club runner-up, former Madden Bowl runner-up, uh, Spoto, right? Pop Spoto. Got a little lucky. But if you expect to win club series, you got to get a little lucky. He chucked the shit at Sean Taylor, right? But I tell you guys all the time, that's why I like the big bodies. If you want to chuck it, you better chuck it at a big body. Skimbo's father, Spoto. Now, then he plays Drinny. Second best Madden player in MCS history, Drinny. Not only does he play Drinny, he money drives Drinny. Money drives. Guap drive versus Drinny. So I'm telling you guys, has anybody else bought some of the Wesley stock? I'm asking you guys, chat. Has anybody started buying the Wesley stock? Because I told you last week, get it while it's hot. Now it might be a little bit too hot to go get. John B. stock? Oh, oh no. Spoto stock. I told you, I had the Wesley stock and the Gold stock. Those are my stocks. All right. Well, if you had Wesley stock since Madden 19, you, you you had it too long, bro. You you were you were too early to the party. You don't count, bro. Come on. High on the fancy stock. I feel like the winner of Henry vs. Ghost wins the NFC. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Am I, is there something to break down in Wesley versus Drenny? Drenny gave up flat routes to lose the game. Pop 
Poppin stock is going. I feel like Poppin stock was always high. That's like a favorite. You know, the Wesley was like a mid tier, right? Wesley wasn't. What? Oh, we didn't talk about Earl. Wesley wasn't a high favorite. He was more of a mid tier player, right? Wesley Pot told you, make him a favorite. Earl Stock. Oh, man. Earl is ass. Earl versus D. Croft. I, I, dude, I feel like it's a winnable game for Earl. I feel like it's a winnable game. Does anybody else get that feeling? Hear me on this. It goes one or two ways. Earl loses 35 to 10, or he wins by three in the clutch. If it's a tight game, if it's a tight game, I'm telling you that. F them, listen, all games are winnable. Why do we let the plebes in here, boys? Why? Why? <laughs> Earl's eating spaghetti the night before. <laughs> oh. Earl's got a big spaghetti. He's got a big spaghetti. Um, a spaghetti meal. Ready on deck. Earl's got spaghetti on deck. Earl might have found a new meta. <laughs> five running back, five wide. Bro. Where Earl? Is he banned? Is Earl banned? Jesus Christ. I bespoto. Yeah. Ah, uh, D. Croft, dude. That dude's that dude's a fucking robot. That dude's like Frankenstein. D. Croft is like the Madden Frankenstein. I mean, will Master be with D-Croft? Now I can, I I see a little bit of Master in D-Croft. D-Croft might be the 6'5 Master Gamer. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Is salty too good for bot wars? I listen. The next, let me tell you this: as people ask about bot wars all the time, the next format is in development right now. Okay, boys, it's in development. How about I tell you guys this? Next week we have an announcement. Okay, when bot wars is going to be? Next week we have the official announcement on the format, boss bot wars part two, on the format, on the contestants. And the date next week, okay? Because it's on, it is it is in the works. I'm telling you guys, behind the scenes, the hamsters are spinning the bot wars formats, okay? We've talked about squad bot wars. We've talked about the same format with secret bosses. We've talked about uh, get five bosses, get a couple new contestants, a new challenges. We've talked about a bunch of different people could possibly be in bot wars. And to me, you know, I've taken all these suggestions, everything you guys have mentioned, I've taken it and I've taken it in and I've said, you know, what can I use that? That's what I think. When an idea crosses my plate, I say, can I use that idea? Do I, do I store it away for later? Do I use it immediately? But listen, I see them all. 
I take in all the ideas. So squads, bot wars, you know what? I don't want six people on the mic. You know, I don't want that. I'm trying to find my way to do a, a squad bot wars the best way, really. No, we're not announcing tonight. It's not happening tonight. It's not, it's not, in, it's not entrenched yet. So let's take a look at what you can call it. Let's take a look at the, uh, the, 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 the NFC bracket. All right. Because we go over here, we can look at the top first. Like I said, this is probably uh, the game of the first round is Ghost versus Henry, right? You know, I, I picked Ghost in this one. I picked Ghost. I think the winner of this uh, wins the NFC for me. That's that's how I feel. Um, Ghost is a belt winner on this side. Is there any other belt winners on this side? Stiffmeister. That's it. Um... All right, see, now Dent says, why don't you put people in pairs but let them play single player against someone like in league play kind of thing? See, that's one of the ideas that I read and throw the fuck in the trash. See, Dents, what is that? Why don't you put people in pairs but let them play single player against like some like league play thing? That's what I mean. That's one of the ideas that crosses my desk and I just bundle up and throw in the trash. There's nothing that I can gain from my man Dents' comment right there. You know what I'm saying? That's all. But, but I read it. You know what I'm saying? I read it. I thought about it. I tried the process, put two and two together. Just didn't make fucking sense. You know? There's a reason why I'm the commissioner of bot wars, bro. Okay? Okay? But, there's no way in hell Ghost wins. He beats Fancy if Ghost wins. Why, why can't Fancy be? why can't Ghost beat Fancy? Why everybody's down on the gold stock? I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I'm I'm high on the gold stock, bro. Brown bros or little bros? See, Pavin. There you go. Brown Madden. Brown Madden. Now, this is the question. Is, Pop, is Brown Madden over Black Madden now? That's the question. We already know which Madden is the best. But second place, is it Brown Madden or Black Madden? Just saying. I mean, Brown Madden has Ghost with a belt, Poppin with a belt. I'm just saying. I don't know. Fancy is Asian Madden. So Ghost has never beat Fancy. Uh-oh. I like Ghost. I bro, I'm be yo, the TNCers, bro, they got to show me a little run, right? I'm beyond they got to show me a run. I saw them asking, show me a run. Henry showed me a run. Ghost done showed me a belt and some more runs. Are y'all high on the TNC? Uh, bro, can I at least get shown a run? That's all. Spoto's fake TNC, bro. Spoto's not fucking TNC. Spoto was like EMB last year. He was top Madden in Madden 18. Come on, bro. Spoto is TNC. Get the fuck out of here. Just like... Just, oh, yeah. Blocky's definitely TNC. Yeah. Blocky's definitely TNC. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, for sure. Blocky deadass was every... Like, no joke. Blocky was every crew. He's gonna be he's gonna be with Needy Gaming next year. I'm already in contracts. He he signs a one year contract with his crew and just goes to the next one. I mean, D. Croft definitely did his thing for sure. I feel like D. Croft is he's not that you know I don't know he's he's he plays different than he's got different offense, different defense. I feel like he's a little bit different. D. Croft definitely balled out. So we'll see. Fancy is Asian, dude. We know how TNC did the one black member. 
We know how it happened, bro. <laughs> Someone call Uzi, bro. Do Madden Cruz profit share? Yes. Yes. Madden Cruz profit share. Yes. Bro, do you know how much money uh, Skimbo and I would have to pay fucking Bugs and Trey and, and Clef? God damn. Crew earnings. Jesus Christ. You know how much money we have to pay Trey? Like, God damn, bro. Pick your fucking slack up, kid. Bugs? Yeah, pick your fucking slack up. Clef? Yeah, come on, kid. Losing the moaners and shit. I gotta pay. I gotta pay. I gotta pay for fucking. I gotta pay for Clef to lose to a moaner. Come on, dude. No, I will tell you, when we did, when Skimbo did win, when Skimbo won uh, the cash in North Carolina, he broke bread with me and Bugs. He gave me and Bugs money when he won like that. He probably won like 15K or something like that out of like that 30K, maybe 17K, something like that. He did give me and Bugs like, like a rack each. So Skimbo is a generous person. He always breaks bread with the, with the homies. Well, Skimbo is the only one that, that won 17K. <laughs> that day in cash like the fuck yo that was the wildest tournament dudes had 30k cash like what's up <laughs> bro it was 30 Madden players <laughs> and they had 30k cash bro that was a money laundering a money laundering tournament if I ever saw one bro the money laundering that happened there I don't know who where they got 30k. Yeah, I don't know what happened at North Carolina. That that drug dealer must have got that drug dealer must have got locked up. He ain't doing another one of them bitches. <laughs> but Henry goes fancy Evil Low. Evil Low almost pulled the upset over Henry last year. Now Evil Low was in the same position last year, whereas he was a heavy underdog. And almost honestly should have beat Henry, but he lost to Henry. So I think we're all overlooking my man Evil Low. We're overlooking him, you know. It was in Raleigh or Fayetteville. It was in Fayetteville. Yeah, they were definitely laundering money, bro. 30K cash. Yeah, that was a laundering deal. And then we have Colin versus Chicharito, D. Croft versus Niner. I mean, this top, this top group right here. I mean, this is per the bottom, and this one is a lot of, a lot of names. I mean, this looks like a sweeter bracket as opposed to the AFC and as opposed to the up top. I mean, this one down bottom, you got Stiff Meister returning from the grave. Uh, you got J Wall versus hated by many. Been around a long time, uh, so I feel like J Wall is the super favorite of this bottom. Uh, what this bottom sixteen people, right? So I mean, and then you got Danny the Moaner. I'm the no, Danny. <sighs> Telling to you. Gucci, Black Madden, nobody's shouting out Gucci yet. What's up? How do you stop PA boot over? Melo, first of all, you take 10 minutes and you think if you really want to be part of the show or not, bro. It, will Gucci get an interview? I don't know. Will Gucci get an interview? Good questions. A lot of questions here going into the tournament this week. Gucci is the only dude that has no interview. Um, I'm not going to say it's a racial thing, but, that, you know, that's where you guys are going with it. We'll see. We'll see if Gucci can get an interview. He plays Mr. Football. This is a big game for, for, for uh, you know, the race wars of Madden. Mr. Football um, versus not Gucci. Danny versus Mono. Poison versus Stiff. What offense is Stiff going to be in? I wish we could take channel point bets 
right now and we could put some bets will he be in the ant cap stack wide gun or whatever he did to absolutely fillet canes did you guys see him absolutely fillet canes with that huddle gg game plan did you guys see it we were here absolutely fried canes with the huddle gg the stack Yeah, so this will be fun to watch. Um, like I said, I got Ghost winning all. I got who well, I got Ghost, Fancy, D. Croft. I think I picked Colin over Chicharito. I don't know Philly, Colin. Um, J. Wall. I got Poison. I got Manu. I got uh, pfft, Gucci. I think. But I did have Poison upsetting and Poison actually making it all the way to the Final Four, losing to Ghost. That's what I got. I don't know what you guys got. That's why you filled out your brackets and put them below my tweet last week. Hopefully you did that. I'm telling you, he was lasering with that huddle GG. My man, Reed. Reed do it all? The real Reed is in the building? My guy. Picture that. Gee, everybody's TNC, bro. Everybody's TNC. Everybody's TNC. There's like, you know, that's why I like 818. I respect the eight one eighters. They don't go outside adding people. They they're not just gonna add a free agent. I feel like they're a tight knit group of friends that you know play together and they don't really look to add new people. Maybe not. We'll see. Right? We'll see. Maybe eight one eight adds somebody new in the off season. Maybe they go after somebody else. You know. Uh, they added they added a Kobo. Are they adding people? Hmm. I, me and Skimbo also throwing around the idea of we need some tryouts. Because we suck. We all got popped. We don't even have nobody to root for. We we need tryouts. Now, see, I see, this is my thought. Like, I don't want to chase somebody just so they win, just because they win. Like, oh, I didn't know who the fuck my man Josh, that boy, was until he won. So am I smart to just go pick him up after he wins? Is that how you build a camaraderie and build a foundation of trust and friendship and loyalty just by liking people that win? Is that how it works? Mmm. 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 Oh, man. We do kind of need some white guys, bro. We have, we have leans heavy towards black. But I put a lot of stock in Black Madden, and I'll be honest. You know, I, 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 and Vol's, Vol's like negatives are like all our good vibes and, and all our good, like we look cool. Like we're the best crew that you guys would want to kick it with. Right? Like, come on, bro. Right? Maybe because we're older, we've been around. Right? But if we had Vol's, bro, that loses our only, that's our only call to, to, to popularity. We have been outside, right? Niner? Come on, bro. I really don't know, bro. I really don't know. Then I feel like... I still feel like we have the most money, the most belts, the most everything, you know. I still feel that way. But we're kind of washed now. We got to get back to the promised land. Do we need new blood? You know, because we're getting caught. We are. Clash of Clans. We go crazy on the Clash of Clans. The next class. We don't have the most hair. Is that cool to have hair? Y'all think it's cool to have hair? Let's be honest. 
bike. I went went is next up, bro. Went is see prop went needs to know if you want to be a, a a shooter guy or a Madden guy. We need we need white Madden, bro. We, I'm gonna be honest. We gotta reach out. We gotta reach out. I don't know. Need John Cena. Who do we reach out for Bot Wars today? No, Wint, Wint is my guy. He, I, I told Wint, all he got to do is keep grinding streams. Bro, y'all have to realize, man, I be wanting streamers. I want streamers. I don't give a fuck about competitive man players. They don't make nobody no money. They don't build anything. For real. I, Nita Ward was next up. Then he quit. Bro, I told Drenny today, bro. I told Drenny he got to get rid of the complexity, bro. Once he, bro, Drenny, and we gonna add Drenny instantly. But he's bullshitting Chibata Mitch. <laughs> Journey really squad for real for real. You got Fox? The Fox? No, Journey's really squad. We we might buy NFA because one we're gonna buy we're gonna we're gonna uh, what's it called when you in court when you like buy a company what is it called it's not called buying. We're gonna buy NFA. Yeah, buy them out. We're going to buy them. We're going to buy them out, bro. We already bought them out, bro. They're already squad, bro. Absorb. But yeah, we're just going to absorb them. That's all. The problem is I'm competing with complexity, bro. That's like fucking hard to do. All right? Nick Nick Merckx? Do we reach out to Nick Merckx? Is Nick Merckx it? Is Nick Merckx? <laughs> do we put a tweet out for Nick Merckx? No, it's not a merger. No, we're not fucking merging. We're absorbing. We're absorbing. It's an acquisition. Yeah, there it is. It's not all right, Dandy. It's not hostile. All right. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. We're 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 gonna acquire NFA. All right. But that's already like squad. But y'all like, I don't know. Oh, so do we reach out to Doc? Do we reach out to Doc? Some Versace on the PS4. Skimbo did bring up some Versace in the uh in our in our meetings you know so so listen our radar the radar is up at all times bro the radar is up and i'll be honest i've been looking outside of madden i've been looking outside of Madden. see i like a man i like a man that has a check pause because i don't know how y'all gonna take that because you know what that showed me that you grind that you don't need me for shit right I, people reach out to me like, bro, I want to be part of... Yo, grind for yourself, man. Grinders are what... That's what's attractive. It's somebody that grind. That's what I tell Wint all the time, bro. Go get the shit. You know I'm saying? Just go get the shit. I feel like dudes that are going to grind are then, are, aren't going to expect like... This not going to help you... You know, it's not going to help you become your peak. You know, it's all about your motivation and your work ethic, essentially. Doesn't matter if you have Nike support. If you're on Team Nike, doesn't matter. If you're not putting out effort and you're not grinding yourself, then you're not going to take things to the next level, honestly. Listen. Needed Aiden. I didn't see too much of this Aiden guy. I hopped in there. Shit was a little wild. I was on my phone. I wasn't at the desk. I was running a lot of errands yesterday, but I hopped in the stream and uh, people told me he was popping. I didn't know who the kid was. I didn't know what was going on, honestly. But I was on my phone. Sometimes when you're on the phone, when you're on, honestly, when you're on the phone, Twitch is ass on the phone. <laughs> Bro. 
I'll be honest, speaking of unban requests, I, I was watching Skimbo play today and I dabbled in the Skimbo unban requests. <laughs> Bro, Skimbo don't, Skimbo don't have no leash. Yo, he got no leash. <laughs> Yo, Skimbo got no leash. <laughs> One dude was like, Whoa, Skimbo, you might lose this game. Banned. I said, damn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and you know who else be getting people out of there? Hey, Andy. No, Andy be going crazy. Bro, my man Flower. Yo, Andy. No, nah, where Andy at? Check it. Yo, Andy be going crazy with the bands in Skim Room. Yes, please, Earl. Earl, Earl is banned for the week. <laughs> Could read. <laughs> oh shit, bro! We was watching Skimbo play today, and Trey was trying so hard to troll. Skimbo was getting popped one game. I think he won, but he was getting popped, and, and you could tell he was hot. <laughs> and when Skimbo was getting popped, he ain't look over at the chat the whole time, bro. He ain't look at the chat. Yo, he's getting nice. Yo, he's learning, bro. You can't look at the chat when you getting popped. He dead ass was blinders to the screen for the whole three quarters until he started winning. Bro, he don't look. He just stay like this. <laughs> that, that's what I look at the chat the most. <laughs> oh, I definitely read chat, but when I'm losing, that's where it is, bro. <laughs> Yo. No, Skimbo did not look at all. And the worst part was, Trey was over here like, I'm gonna get him. Let me troll him. Let me hop in there. He was like, he was like, oh, if, if he gets stopped again, I'm drop. I'm hopping in there. Trey started typing there. Skimbo was like, <laughs> Trey was like, he doesn't see me. Let me try again. Am I going to play? Jesus, uh, this guy. Hopefully, you can file your unbanned request to the next thing. Am I going to play? Get this fucking guy, bro, ban. I go down in game. I go down all the time for content. Big pause. Now. Oh, damn. I deleted the circle jerk emote. Bro, I made the circle jerk emote for Skimbo. And he 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 said he don't want it, bro. I made the perfect circle jerk emote. I made the perfect emote. He said I don't want that shit. I made the new one. I made the new one, witness. I made the new one. I might make it my emote. Honestly, I might make it my emote just so y'all can spam that shit in his chat. <laughs> Yo, it was great, bro. It was a great emote. Let me let me DM it to myself so I got it. I deleted it. Bro, he don't you gotta embrace the jerk. Sometimes you gotta embrace the jerk, for real, boys. Have to embrace the jerk. You have to. Cause people are gonna jerk you. Are you gonna jerk back? Now look, see, it lurk and jerk. There it is. I told him this was the circle jerk emote. I said this was it. I said, I said, bro, you, this would be the best emote on Twitch. I'm telling him, just, just ride with it, lurk and jerk. <laughs> what? The, all right. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I right, stop banning these people, bro. Stop banning. Just saying, it's a good emote. It's a good emote. That's all I was saying. All right, let's get to these unbans. Where we got what? Speaking of bans, let's get to these young bans. What do we got in the unbans for the day? Lurk and jerk. What do we got here, boys? Uh, 
Cover helps you in I only got four? We got refresh. Is Lou in here? Oh, 12. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Just got banned. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. Just got banned. My man Dix Dixfer. Dixfer. He just got banned that fast. I don't know how you get banned that fast, but it happened. I told you, stop banning people. Bro, I swear to God. Actually keep banning people. Free this guy. Dixfer. Bro, this is like the hardest thing to bring up on, on your display. Alright, there it is. Free this guy right here. Free him. Dick's fur. He only put it one time? He only has one chat? All time? What? All right, you, yo. You got to chat more than that. My man, Dark Pena. This is my guy. Pena is my guy, bro. Tyler, help people. What should I use on regs, Chiefs or Bucks? Kells, was this worth the ban? Was this worth the ban? Like, this is a timeout. This is only I can ban shit like this, bro. This is a wild ass ban. Yeah, this is, bro. I but still, bro. You first of all, you don't let you don't take that content opportunity away from me. See, you're robbing me of content by airing him out. You banned him before I can even read this stupid ass comment. All right? I couldn't even read it. It'd be funny. He robbed me. My man Tyler, six, six, seven, six. A lot of sixes and sevens. Lou got game. I won my 1v1 in the ghoulie. Is that his is that his request? Is that all he has for request? Is Lou? That's all he has? Oh man. I feel like this is ass, bro. Twelve bands, yo. Lou been through it. Lou got a rap sheet. Yo, he got a rap sheet. Lou is out though, man. Bainbridge. Who banned? Oh, I banned this guy. Oh my God, he's there. Where's Khalil? Shut the fuck up. Bald ass head couldn't take the heat, huh? Shrek looking ass, bonehead ass. Dub dot band Bainbridge one two three four five six seven eight nine. Was this was a 5 a.m. guy? 5 a.m. guy? This was a 5 a.m. guy. Bane Bridge. Yo, my man Chase Chase Two Fire. 3 a.m. nasty. Look, a 3 a.m. nasty. I swear this is like Ward or somebody. This is Ward or somebody, one million percent. Look at his time he checked in the chat right here. Oh my God. You suck, shitty ass team. Zero earnings, quit the game, delete your team. Kalu 2.0. <laughs> oh, cancer patient, bag in a Snuggie, what a shit player. Ha ha, shitty ass team. End the stream, you're canceled. No more games, go to practice. Free me. He don't have enough energy, bro. Where Chase at? <laughs> oh 
Hold up. Hold up. Yo, what is this? Last time I went sledding, I practically broke my dick. Yo, look at this. Look. First of all, Jesse ain't even been. Oh, hold up. Oh, he got a whole. Jesse, whole ass banned me because me, Drizzy. And oh, is that his name? USC boy. And the prime minister was hitting his mama Dukes from the back. Back to back. Kind of like Drizzy's song. When I was done, I found out his mom gave me herpes. Then I came back with young boy and we two-pieced her because once you got it, you can't get it any worse. You feel me? <laughs> Got it. You can't get it any worse. Yo, thanks from USC boy. <laughs> oh man, that kid is goaded. Yo, this dude is the worst. He's the worst person. I don't even like this guy. This fake EDP guy. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this guy. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Don't like him. Schooly the slump god. My man said, because once you got it, you can't get it no worse. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> What's it? You feel me? <laughs> uh, Schooly the slump god. The dookie. My boy Frange about to wax that ass. Dub dot over overted. Let's fucking go Frange. Oh, over is that overrated? Whoa, let's fucking go Frange. You dookie, fuck out of here. Bye bye. Let's fucking go. Suck his meat, bitch boy. I let him back, bro. You know. He did a moment. He did a moment. Whoa, man. What's with the cock talk and everything, bro? Hi, Poppy. You looking sexy as always. Oh, like. Nah, I'm cool, bro. That's just weird to me. Whoa! Deny? King Worm. <laughs> Earl looked like his next. Th Hold up. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Yo! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, man. King Worm. Earl got a fart stain in his shorts. Earl sweet than a big dog. What? Earl showing off all three of his chins. Earl looking like his neck stinks. Earl neck definitely stinks. Jesus. Damn, bro. Y'all ban titties? Bro, who is banning these fucking people, bro? Y'all really about to look. Bro. This is why I don't have mods, bro. This is why I don't have mods. What the fuck, bro? Y'all two-piece this guy. How y'all two-piece this guy? Y'all two-piece them? Y'all betting everybody, bro. Black Lives Matter. Don't stop believing. King Henry got us. Y'all crazy, bro. Y'all actually, like, this is why I don't have mods, bro. Y'all be taking shit too far. New mod tryouts. Facts. New mod tryouts. For real. I don't know, Box. I don't know what happened, bro. Yeah, Kells was going crazy, bro. 
He might need a timeout on the sword. I mean, he be doing a lot of work, but he went a little too crazy tonight, bro. I'll be honest. He went a little too crazy tonight. Mod tryouts. Who can type the fastest? Mod tryouts. You guys ready? Give me a paragraph about why you want to be a mod and what you can add to the stream and why you would be a better mod than the next guy. You got 30 seconds. By the end of the podcast, I want those paragraphs in the chat below. Okay? Let's see who really wants it and who needs it. Okay? All I'm saying. You got about 30 seconds till we end the podcast. I'm just saying. Vo's really about to be like, Hi, my name is Vo's. I'm a streamer. I know what it takes to run a stream because I have my own. And I can go ahead. I can see trolls from a distance. I know which ones need to be banned and which ones don't. I think my opportunity is is more than verified. And I think I can really hold down the stream very well when I'm not in my own stream. I'd be a good mod because I care about the need of community. Okay, the paragraphs are going. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Easy. You're VIP, bro. Okay, who do I pick? Who do I listen? YouTube. Who do I pick to be mod? I I mean I gotta scroll up this bitch. I'd be a good mod because I care about the needed community. I let them speak their minds because I bend I, and don't break. I'd be a great mod because I'm funny and chill. Mod me. I want to be my intensive. I'm ready to work. I am engaged in the action. I'm a worker and born leader. Okay, Michael Ward. Okay, my man Tropical. I think I could definitely support the channel in many ways, keeping it clean but dirty. They need someone to hold down for the fort. I know when it's chill and I know when they cross the line. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. All right, it's a lot of that's a lot of mods right here. Ha, I've had sex unlike that said obese neck beard. <laughs> I've had many encounters with the opposite sex. Models and actresses are like people who cannot attract women are inferior and less intelligent. There's a reason some people will never reproduce. Survival of the fittest. I do MMA. I can lift 330 pounds while still being able to read books about quantum physics. I have to go now. I've got a date with two lovely birds who cannot wait to go for a ride. But before I leave, mod me. Ciao. My man James with the nine months. I mean, Romo is Romo is a loyal viewer. Name is kind of trash. I mean, y'all, I can't lie. Paragraphs might have been a dub. Paragraphs might have been a dub. Look, Earl is in the building. Earl. No, Earl is mod. He just gets timed out and loses it all the time, bro. Banning tits was an L, bro. I'll be honest. Banning tits was a low point. The banning of the tits was a low point of the stream tonight, guys. We've taken a step backwards in quality content. We have. We have. It's okay. It's okay. Earl be a mod, but then he gets popped. Like, and he gets banned, and then it goes away. All right, I'm turning this podcast off, bro. Shit is getting really nasty right now. Oh, I didn't even turn this, bro. What? That's why I don't do studio mode. That's why we don't do studio mode. Hi, my name is Owen Vos on the net, though. <laughs> I've been a virgin for 17 years. I've endured all the insults possible. I know when someone has crossed the line because I've seen it all. Mod me for quality monitoring of your lovely stream. Was that the real Vos? Was that the real Vos paragraph? Or is Vos still typing his paragraph? That was a pretty good that was a pretty good paragraph for Vos. I'll be real, pretty good. <laughs> Vos on the net note. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. 
Reem, that's a strong, that's a strong paragraph. Mmm. Pena, you already know, bro. Easy. You can't be modded in the chat. You can't. Can't happen. But boys, this was the Needed Podcast episode 115. Listen, big games this week. I told you I'm high on the Westbian stock. I'm high on the gold stock. Let me know in the comments who are what stock are you high on? Also, man, you guys know the vibes. Cash apps below. Somebody will pay you, maybe, possibly. But let me know you've been watching this long because shit, it's been a long time. 